What's up everyone? Happy Wednesday. This is when I guess everyone on YouTube that's popular actually posts. So I coincidentally post on Wednesdays too because it's my off day. I haven't done a vlog in a really long time and I know I just recently put up uh, an old clip. Well, it's not really a clip. It's really long. It's like 40 minutes long. A video of my friend Slima and myself just rambling and just being random so I hope you guys enjoy it even though it's old um, so I was gonna cover a few topics answer a couple questions and whatnot um, I'm gonna cover I wrote it down so uh, normally I have it on like notepad like on my laptop so um, First, I'll start with talking about Tierra, Tierra's uh, member change. I know it's old news, but I wanted to kind of like say a little something about it. Um, before I start, I'm gonna be nice and put some annotations on the side so you can uh, pick what you want to look at or listen to out of everything I'm talking about. So, um, so the tier member change thing, I learned that they're going to be in nine members, and I think it's a dumb idea. Uh, they haven't even utilized like their newest member, and I mean, their last uh, music video isn't all that great, so they're they're not starting off very good in my opinion. And the CEOs being really selfish and mean about this whole thing calling them lazy and stuff and then, like you've been working them so hard they don't get any breaks and I like that they're constantly you know changing to different themes they don't stick to one thing like the whole cutesy or sexy or dark or whatever so I don't know they, they seriously need a break and I think adding new members and threatening to like kick out the members that are already in the group is unfair and selfish but you know there's nothing I can do about or you no know, one can do anything about this whole member edition at least they're doing it gradually and not in your face just throwing out these two people like they did with this new person I guess I don't know their names I'm sorry so um, I wish them all the best because I still really like their music uh, speaking of music, um, uh, kind of listening to Usher a little bit as I bought his new CD, his new album, and I might review it, and hopefully I'll be doing more music reviews soon. Uh, I'm still trying to catch up with stuff, so be patient with me, but I hope you've been enjoying the movie reviews I've been put putting up, and I had one anime series thing. Uh, moving on to the next topic, uh, you know, I'm just gonna like mix it, just go down the list and mix in my questions and stuff. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. Um, there was some picks from Rolling Stone for K-pop that would be like, K-pop stars that would be successful. Um, I'm too lazy to actually look up who they picked, but they seem like completely random and I wouldn't choose chosen them. Um, the people in America that run big magazine companies should really do, or even shows, whether it's online or on actual TV, I think they should do more research on what they talk about when they're picking k-pop stars that would you know be successful in america because sometimes they just it just seems like they just pick random people that just won't make it doesn't make sense um i recently watched this video uh i guess i think it's called my ish i think that's the channel and he i i think this is a slightly old video i'm not sure but he picked the uh, some songs some videos that he recommended his favorite K-pop songs at, at the time, and his personality is really annoying. But I mean, he he had a good mixture of choices. Although the biggest complaint that some people already pointed out in the comics comments was his number one choice, which is "Fantastic Baby" by Big Bang. 
is actually the Japanese version, not the Korean version. And he also made a mistake with the girls, the SNSD uh, music video, which is actually the subunit video. Even I know that, and I don't even like SNSD. Um, let's see. Uh, Ink Cafe is coming back. They announced it a while ago. That's kind of old news. Um, I was hoping they weren't going to come back. And as you see, I still have Ink Cafe poster. I moved it. I rearranged my posters, maybe. If people are interested in seeing what my room looks like, I might uh, you know, give you a tour of my room. Um, but yeah, I'm not really all that excited about it. I hope at least, you know, the music's a lot better than what they left with, but I was, you know, enjoying LC5 and Kinetix Cannon, and, uh, I know Chibiki was doing support drums for a couple bands and such, so, I guess I'm a little bit excited, but I'll kind of miss, you know, Kinetix Cannon and LC5, because I really like the direction they were going, is something different. Um... There's also a couple additions to Moron. Um, I've always liked them. They, I like them because uh, the music's good, and I like the previous band that three of the members were in, which was Fatima. The music's great. Um, they added Cisna, who is a member of Sugar, and uh, recently. They announced that BB from Dragon Rapper and Ivy from Reming, or from most people know as Dio Destrado Overlord. And I'm curious how their sound is gonna go. Um, a friend of mine and I were a little surprised that Shingo from Sugar didn't join too, since he was support bass. Because, uh, I guess Sugar and Moron's music style are kind of the same, but not really. So I wasn't too, like, you know, I don't know, against season joining. But thinking of Ivy, all I could think of is that bass intro from one of the, of the Dio songs. I don't remember the name of it. It's kind of long, and Mikuru is in, like, he kind of looks like a mummy or something. He's wrapped up. But um, I'll put a link to the video. It's a really awesome song. The video's kind of low budget a bit, but it, I mean, it's still, you know, good. It's worth seeing. So all I can think of is heavy bass. and But I guess, uh, who knows, it might work out. I mean, Reming had So, which was a uh, Lolita 23Q, so former singer. And they worked out well. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens when they release something. Uh, next I got to hear some, I guess, demos, uh, live release, whatever, tracks from D.I.D., which is, since Paranor disbanded, uh, I think two or three of the members made a new band and, you know, added some people, a couple people or whatever fill in the gaps and um, made DID which is um, short for until I die or no that's not right until the day I die there we go and black line which is Mikuru and uh, Denka's uh, band they were from DO2 so I really like the tracks are really enjoyable um, uh, the tracks that were released, they're all on YouTube, so you should check them out. They're really good. Um, I'm really looking forward to official releases, so I hope they don't bail out. I know DID probably won't, but Blackline has been taking their dear little time releasing stuff, so. Uh, next is the whole announcement about Big Bang's American League of their world tour. World tour. I use world tour very loosely around here in cult madhouse so um they announced they're gonna be in california and new york like i pretty much predicted and i don't think they're gonna be announcing any more locations that is my guess i will i mean if they do uh, it'll probably be 
like another New York date or another California location, but I don't think they're gonna go anywhere like in between there. So, uh, sorry for being, but I'm not gonna be seeing your uh, concert. It's just not worth, you know, the flight and the time and money. Just, just come to Texas, okay? It's nice. Uh, also, there was an uh, announcement from you from that was, used to be the singer of Vidal in June, that used to be the guitarist in Bandasmagoria, and also was in Spiff States, and had Atomic Attic, and all that good stuff. Yeah. So they're doing a- they're gonna be in a band together. Yay. It's called Gotcha Rocka. Uh, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect from the two of them. But... June has, is an ama amazing vocalist. Uh, June is an awesome guitarist. Uh, he's probably... I don't know. I've always liked June. Uh, even though I didn't know what his name was, because I saw Phantasm Boy Alive, and I was like, I like that guy with the red hair. But, I don't know. I didn't know what his name was at the time. And I couldn't say Phantasm Gloria. So. Also, one of the guitarists from Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Uh, not the guitar. Yeah, he is a guitarist. He's pretty good too. I don't really listen to Charlotte that much, but I remember I liked them. And Shingo from Sugar that I mentioned earlier is part of the band. And I guess they don't really have a drummer. I don't know if they will later or not, but there you go. So, um, now that is pretty much like all the news I've written. Um, oh, there's one more thing. I mentioned Lolita 23Q earlier, and they announced that they're going on an indefinite hiatus, and I'm really sad about that. I don't know if they're going to be gone forever type hiatus, like Malice Miser, oh we're going on a hiatus, and then never come back, or, you know, it's just, you know, a soft blow of, we're going to disband eventually. I guess they're in that uh, cogger stage of, we've accomplished everything we've done, so, um, that's it guys, bye, thanks! But I really hope not, because they were really, you know, getting up there, especially with Soshi Joni, and, I mean, he hasn't been in the band for very long, so, I hope this is just a break. I mean, they need the break, so they can make more amazing music, if that's the case, but it's sad if they disband, because I really like them for, I've liked them for a real long time. Um, I should have gotten this earlier, because now I gotta get up and move, but I just want to close it with this before I make another video on answering some questions, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I recorded it, but I didn't like it, so I'm gonna re-record it, even though I look worse, I guess. But I have less pressure, because I had Slima next to me while I was recording it, and this time I'm so. So let me get up and get something for you guys. Bye. Okay, so I went to uh, Akon earlier this month, and I got to see Ayabie in Oz, and I had a lot of fun, and eventually I will be posting Q&A, even though I said this like last year that I'd be posting uh, D questions and Bloodstain Child questions, because I had press, and I haven't done that yet, but I'm still planning on doing it, because I still have the draft in my blogger to like finish, and I still have all the stuff from it too. So eventually I will get to it, I promise. Uh, it might be irrelevant, but I really don't care. So anyway, can we post in a con report soon? Uh, pretty much, not really a con report, it'll be more of a concert report because I don't do con reports on my blog. I do that on my live journal. If you want my live journal, good luck finding it because I'm not giving it to you. Uh, it should be kind of easy to find. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to be posting the concert report from the convention. And I'm also going to be doing a little contest. So instead of, uh, you know, answering a question because I can't really think of a question, and trivia would just be too hard to do on the internet because you can find all the answers online. So instead, I'm just going to do a raffle. And I'm going to be giving away, I was going to give away posters, but uh, 
the Ayabia poster, I was gonna give away. Yumihito wrote a message on there to me, so I can't give it away. So I framed it. And the Oz poster, I wanted to keep for myself, especially because I had to hold it and guard it during the concert. So it got a little banged up a bit, but it's not too bad. But anyway, so I'm gonna post more details about the raffle later when I get my concert post up and the Q&A stuff, but mostly, I mean, if I do that really quickly like I want to, I will post the details on the raffle so you guys can enter and I'll probably do another video to remind you guys about it. Anyway, I'm going to be giving away two photo sets. One is an Ayabi photo set, and not only is it a photo set, but it is autographed by all four members. So I'm going to be raffling these all. And I am just so nice, right? I spent like 20 bucks. So anyway, they're in very good condition. I don't, I haven't really touched them that much, honestly. I think I've only really touched them this time. Take them out, I'll probably touch them again out of the plastic, but I have a little plastic. So I'm giving away a LBA photo set that is autographed by all four members. I know this one part isn't signed, but they have individual ones like I just showed you. I'm also giving away, I don't know which one I'm going to pick, but I'm giving away an Oz photo set too. They're different. I'm not sure which one I will pick. Maybe I'll ask you guys to pick. It, it all depends on what happens. But yeah. So... They're all autographed as well. I'm not gonna do the other one, but they're all autographed by each member. So I'll be raffling these off too. So since I'm doing a raffle because those are easier, uh, I'll probably tell you the details on how to enter the raffle so you can win these awesome Oz and ABA photo sets. Now, it's not for both. You don't get both. You have to enter in them separately. Because some people don't like Oz, but they like Ayabi, and some people like Ayabi and not Oz. I happen to like both. So, anyway. So, I will, you know, post details on the raffle later after I put concert report up and possibly Q&A if hopefully Q&A doesn't take that long. So look out for that and I hope you guys are interested in them because I would love to, you know, give these away because I love giving stuff away and I don't do that often. So anyway, I'm going to answer a couple questions because uh, I didn't like how it turned out first time I answered them. Uh, I'm just picky like that. Anyway. I hope everyone has a wonderful summer and they stay cool. I'm gonna turn a fan on because I'm hot. And please continue to check out the vlog and send me stuff, uh, things you want me to review, uh, questions about myself, uh, general questions in, about entertainment industry, whatnot, anything. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace, guys.